Money saving tips. Saving is a life skill, and I think it needs to be taught early on. As a kid, we are oblivious to the value of money and want all of these things, not knowing their worth. When I was taught about saving, the difference between wants and needs accompanied the conversation. As a kid, I thought, okay, easy enough. All I have to do is buy what I need and not spend too much on the things I don't need and want. It sounds like a piece of cake. Now that I'm older, though, boy, let me tell you, that was just it. It only sounded like a piece of cake, but it's easier said than done. Am I right? What is your relationship with saving? Saving is an absolute necessity when you're pursuing fire. Fire stands for financial independence. Retire early. You'll need to pick up on the habit of saving if this is something you want, or all your efforts will be futile if you blow all your money. So that's what we'll be doing today. I'll be giving you tips on saving money to progress in your path of achieving financial independence and retiring early. Welcome to Savvy, where we have lots of practical wisdom to share. Hey, don't forget to hit the like button below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more advice here on Savvy. Today, I'll share your money-saving tips. So I'll be sharing tips on how you can save money. I'll share the information I have personally practiced that increased my savings from zero to fifty thousand in two years. Change your view on savings. Many people struggle with saving because they feel like it's a chore. Some people don't see the point in saving because they're thinking, "Why save money now when you want to live? After all, you only live once." You know that kind of mindset. But it would be best to look at saving as a self-care practice. It's you investing in yourself, and you invest in your future. It would help if you had the mindset that you're not needing the money you have now, so you're going to save it and make your money grow, so that you can live a better life in the future. It's for you to have your sense of financial freedom and security, because you never know when you will need it the most. Track your expenses. It would be best if you track your expenses. When I was younger, I didn't realize the importance of monitoring your expenses until one day I looked at my bank account balance. I was surprised to see where all my money went. If you don't know where you're putting your money, you won't be able to set feasible savings goals. It would help if you tracked all your transactions to know where you're spending your money, to see where you should cut back on, what things may you be overspending on, and what are some things you can spend less on by choosing a better alternative to maximize your savings. Put your money in different accounts. You should not put all your money in just one account because it will be harder to manage your finances. You should have a checking account to put your saving in for emergencies, and an investment account to put money in regularly so your money can grow. Suppose you're putting all your money in just one account. In that case, it's hard to budget, and you won't be able to differentiate correctly the amount of money you're allocating for this and that. Set aside for savings. You'll have to save a portion of your income regularly. The money you'll set aside to keep should be realistic. If you're setting aside too much, you'll need to cut back too much. And next thing you know, you can only eat half a meal a day, which isn't appropriate. If you're setting aside too little for savings, you might not be able to reach your savings target, and your net worth won't increase. Pennies matter. A penny might be small. But the accumulation makes a big difference. So if you choose between purchasing two things and it's only a penny difference, it would help if you remembered that this makes a big difference. Suppose you live frugally and daily you remind yourself of the value of money. In that case, it will be easier for you to make financially beneficial decisions. These pennies you aren't paying any mind to. Will add up to a thousand dollars in a year, and that's a lot of money you could have just saved instead. What are your saving habits? 
How do you motivate yourself to save rather than spend? Share it with us in the comments below. Prevention, not cure. You don't want to try and look for a solution when it's already in a terrible state. It's always better to solve things earlier, so the issue doesn't blow up in your face. It's like a cavity, and you're going to have to get it checked as soon as possible before it gets so bad that you need a root canal. With money, it's the same thing. Before things get too out of hand, you will need to solve the issue as soon as possible to lessen your costs. Choose practical hobbies. Not many people have a high income to sustain a lifestyle or fund particular hobbies. Many people cannot save enough because their hobbies cost too much and aren't feasible. It would be best if you chose practical hobbies that align with what you're earning and hobbies that don't cost too much for you to save enough money regularly. Don't upgrade your life. It doesn't mean you just got a raise and you necessarily have to start spending more. Well, you should be able to save more. Many people who get raises start feeling like they should begin living lavish lives when they can take that extra money and put it into their savings. There isn't anything wrong with spending on things that can upgrade their life. Remember to keep the balance you need in mind. Stop trying to buy your happiness. Money doesn't buy happiness. Honestly, it doesn't. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you don't need money because money is necessary and could make life easier but it does not buy you happiness. Many people think that if they buy this, they'll be happier. They'd be satisfied if they live in a bigger house or drove a Lamborghini. Yes, all these worldly things may be nice, but they won't make you happy, or at least not genuine happiness that lasts longer than a couple of hours or days. Happiness is in the people we love, the small things we enjoy, and the experiences and memories we make. Instead of spending money on something that gives you temporary satisfaction, you could save this and spend on things that matter more and are more important. That's enough practical wisdom for today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up below. We will be posting 4 to 5 videos per week. So click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of our new videos weekly. Thanks for tuning in! See you in the next video.